Hey guys, I'm coming to you today with the Dollar Tree haul. Found some um, interesting stuff, mostly food. I don't know, I must have been hungry or there just wasn't a lot of new stuff at the Dollar Tree, I'm not sure. So, um, I found this bell. Hey! It was very cool. I'm hoping to kind of get like a bunko going on in this area if I can ever meet enough people. We've been here just over a year and I uh, still don't think I know enough people to do bunko, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping. So these bells were bought with the hopes of that. I also bought um, some gardening tools and these are actually very strong. So I think they'll work very well getting the weeds out of the gardens area or by the shrubs. And take care of those weeds, they don't want them overgrowing, right? I also recently found out that it looks like we're going to get to go to Disney. And I'm so excited. We're going to go to Disney World maybe during the summer sometime. Um, so I saw these and thought, oh, those would be great to just slide in your back pocket. And then if you need them, you have them. Yeah, not even for sure. Haven't even booked. But I think we're going, so I bought them. Same with this. This is a very cool little puzzle, if you look real close there. So you can color this puzzle in, and then it has an envelope. And this one right here, I think, is the envelope that you put it in if it doesn't come one coloring. Let me see, I'm looking. Okay, it doesn't look like it comes with an envelope. I must have lied. Sorry about that. So it comes with a puzzle. You color the puzzle, you write a message on the back, and then you break it all up, put it in your own envelope, and then we're gonna mail it to my nieces. Say, can't wait to see you at Disney. Sounds fun, huh? I found these at the checkout. Three different kinds of M&Ms and thought it would be fun to try them with the, the kiddos. Honey nut, chili nut, and coffee nut. We'll see if I can actually get anybody to try them with me. Hoping those are good. Um, I also found this Mucinex Fast Max Severe Cold. This is a honey lemon flavor. You just add water. How many packets? Four packets. So I thought that seems two out of five of us here are sick right now. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to need those in the near future. I don't know. Hopefully not, but maybe. Also picked up a staple. This is the uh, small Dawn. And I go back and forth between the Oxy Palm Olive and this Dawn. And why do I get the small ones? I get the small ones because they fit perfectly. This is the perfect amount to fit in our little sink. Um, it's like built into the sink. And so it just, when I try to use the big ones, I tend to overfill it. But if I use this, there's no overfilling. This is also a staple, the parchment paper. Love to put that on anything when I'm baking. Less scrubbing. Picked up some of these. I picked up two. This is a mess la mesh laundry bag. And you just, um, this is it opened up. You just put your little garments inside. And I was specifically thinking those little socks. You know how they always get lost? But those ones I've been picking up from the Dollar Tree, maybe I can hold on to a few more of them if I wash them in here. So I picked up two, so it's always good to have a backup. I'll see if that works, if I remember to use them. <laughs> I have been hugely trying to organize every possible thing that I can lately. And one of the videos I watched said that, you know, organizing your drawers with these little dividers is a really good thing. So I saw these, I saw them in this beige color and then also a dark color and they seem to have a lot. So they must've recently just got them in and there's the measurements. So we'll give it a go and see if it works, but Oh, Yahtzee or Bunko. <laughs> They seem very flimsy, so I'm not sure if it's really going to work, but I'm thinking to just try it out in my socks and underwear drawer and see if they work. I'll keep you posted if you're interested. Leave me a comment. The other thing that we picked up were these um, succulents, the fake succulents from the Dollar Tree. My daughter had this, she had this jar and she really wanted to make a DIY. So we picked up some of these river, wa river walks, river rocks and some of the moss. And she picked up a couple of these. And so she made this cute little decoration piece. Isn't that wicked cute? 
She's so smart. So, Dollar Tree. Those were, if, and if you don't know, the Dollar Tree actually seems to have a couple different sizes. These are the smaller ones that were in the pots, and then they also have bigger ones that you can use. So, that was pretty cool. Now, I think the rest is all food. Please forgive me. Must have been hungry. I don't know. This is a repurchase. These are delicious. Italian biscotti made in Italy. I'm sorry, product of Italy. Does it say if it's really made there? Yep, made in Italy. These are very good. There's no chocolate, there's nothing but the, the nuts and the, the little biscuit, but these are really good. So I grabbed a couple of those. We found cherry pop tarts. These are not the whole wheat ones. These are just regular pop tarts. My kids were not a huge fan of the whole wheat. Not a huge fan. I found these Cosmos Creations in coconut crunch and also in salted caramel. I tried the coconut crunch and they're not, it's not popcorn, it's like a puff. It's an interesting puff and it almost tasted just like caramel corn with a little hint of coconut. This one I haven't tried yet. But I've seen these for sale, like huge bags at like um, Costco for like $5, but, but they're the puffs. So once you open them, if you don't um, seal them really good, you know, they go bad pretty quickly. So I was really happy to see them in those smaller, smaller bags. Because the kids don't like them. I don't know why. Maybe it's because they're a little healthy. Gluten-free, trans fat-free, no high fructose corn syrup, made with sea salt. You know, if it, if, if it even is implied that it might be somewhat healthy for you, my kids don't really want it. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you guys. Okay, I found this uh, saffron yellow rice. I have never used it. I saw a video about this probably about six months ago, and I have no idea who the video was by. They said that they liked those, and um, I had not seen them in the Dollar Tree since, so I went ahead and grabbed them as soon as I saw them. I found these, Old Dominion Jalapeno Lime. These are interesting, very, very interesting. Um, they're kind of like toff regular toffee peanuts, but they're... And, Every once in a while you'll get like, wow, that was limey. Wow, that was hot. But not every every peanut. It's kind of an interesting concept. I also found check chips in cinnamon and sugar. And these, these I didn't love. I wanted to show you the shape of them. Yeah. So they're quite big. Look at that next to the pop tart. So they're they're really good size, and they have cinnamon, but they're there's it's not very sugary. It's like kind of salty. It's kind of interesting. Victoria, could you could you try this and let these people know what you think of it, please? Sure. I'm gonna have my daughter be the guinea pig. <laughs> let them know what you think of those. Lots of interesting food. Do you need another one to give an accurate testimony? Yeah. You need another one? <laughs> it kind of tastes like those, you know those twisty cinnamon things they have at Taco Bell? Oh! That's what they kind of taste like. But not quite as sweet, right? Yeah, they kind of taste like, you know, if you ever get the kind of burnt ones. <laughs> <laughs> the ones that are not very good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not enough flavoring, too, I don't think. Yeah, I agree. Okay. That one, I mean. Maybe they'll have other flavors next time, or maybe they have other flavors by you. They are an interesting concept to have cereal as a chip. I would not say don't buy them, but just don't buy 20 of them. Mm, we got a couple more of these, a couple more of these. This same daughter, Victoria, is addicted to these bull appetites. She loves them. And she hadn't tried this flavor, so I went ahead and picked that up for it. Give it a go. They're easy, quick after school snacks. She loves those. Thank you, by the way, Victoria, for being my guinea pig. I was also very excited to find these emeralds. I got this Bol Bolognese Authentic Recipe. 
this is um, it is made with beef and sausage so one of us will not be eating it in the house who is a vegetarian which is not me here's the ingredients I did check the date on here where is it you guys have probably already seen it there you go so it needs to be eaten by next month but I only grabbed one to give it a go and then I grabbed these Italian seasonings breadcrumbs and it's got a recipe right there that I think we're gonna just give that a go so that was exciting I'm telling you I think it was the food was the most exciting thing there and then they have these South Beach bars a whole box of bars these only have five and these only have five but still a whole box for a dollar does that mean they're not good let's hope not so thought we'd give you these a go also they did have other South Beach like foods by it but don't be confused they were not the South Beach diet so you can have these during phases two and three I am NOT recommending this diet I'm just saying that sometimes their their snack food is kind of good and not so bad for you like this right and then also another staple that we always get every time we go my 11 year old 11 year old is all about these I think his sister sneaks them too though and then the last thing I picked up I had not seen this before maybe you guys have tried it you just mix cream cheese with it I'm sorry not cream cheese sour cream here's the ingredients so I have a bunch of sour cream in the fridge and thought I'd give it a go and I think amazingly that is it I hope you have enjoyed seeing the goodies I have I would love to see what goodies you're finding so please leave me a link to your video if you have one down below okay have a great day enjoy your weekend bye